Hello everyone, today I am going to be talking to you about how to practice singing when you are on holidays. This is actually also useful for when you are sick and you cannot sing or you cannot sing for another reason. My name is Orgelina, I am the founder of Okra Contemporary Singing School and I also teach online. The reason why I am talking to you about this today is because I came for a week to the Gold Coast in Australia and of course I cannot sing because of that, so I have to do something about it. And uh, yes, I thought it was a great opportunity to tell you a little bit about this. So firstly, I would like to talk to you about how long is it okay to not sing for and uh, how it can affect your singing. If you are a serious singer, you need to think about yourself as an athlete. Of course, you, you have a lot of memory because learning to sing properly is, is a lot about technique, how you use your body, but it also has to do with muscle strength. It's of course different than doing something with, with big movements and things like that, but it's still a very skilled thing to do. So think about the gym. If you go to the gym often, you're going to know that, and yes, you probably have the minimum you want to be doing that to have good results is three times a week in separate days and that you don't want to abandon it for too long. If you abandon it for too long, then when you come back, it's very hard. And in this case, I'm going away for a week. It's fine. One week is fine. Uh, yes. And it sometimes it can actually be very beneficial for you as well. It does give time for your brain to figure out all the things that you have been teaching it. And maybe, of course, also it helps you relax, which is good for singing. Yes, it's good for life in general to have a little break, but a little break, not too long. So you definitely don't want to leave it for like a month or so if you are uh, training seriously as a singer. I would like to tell you what you can actually do when you are in a situation in which you can't sing. In this case, for example, I am in a house in which there are flatmates living and so I, I cannot be too noisy <laughs> so I can't sing but there are a few things that I can do and I want to tell you the two things that are super super useful to do uh, when you are uh, not able to sing and, and that actually it's it can be beneficial to do it because there are sometimes we should focus on the singing part and we don't spend enough time doing some other singing stuff that are very important the first one is it's a great time to finally memorize your lyrics <laughs> And this is something a lot of singers just skip altogether and I think that is actually a big mistake because in my experience what works the best when you're working on songs is to first get the music out of the way, meaning you learn your lyrics, you learn your uh, rhythm, you learn your melodies, you know when to enter, you, you know the song, the structure. So uh, lyrics are a big part of that. It's super, super important. It takes me a while to get my students to believe me and to actually practice the lyrics, but the ones that do are the ones that progress with their singing the fastest. And one of the reasons why, when you are reading lyrics, you are focusing your eyes somewhere fixed, you are with an external focus, and uh, when you remember the, the hierarchy, so first the music, then the technique, then the interpretation. If you don't get the music the knowledge out of the way, you cannot go to the next step. You cannot develop the technical abilities that you need to resolve that song because you're going to be, of course, focused on learning the music. And, you know, if you are like, fixing your eyes in a paper, then there are muscles here that are that are engaged and that you want to get them out of the way when you sing. Of course, because of the hierarchy, it also affects your interpretation, which is like the most important part of singing. The last thing we, we, we work on because we can't think about technique if we are worrying about high notes and things like that or lyrics. A really good way to learn your lyrics when you are unable to sing is to say the lyrics. Say them as if you were speaking them. Yeah, and this it's super quick to do. And yes, let's say that you are practicing, for example, in Somewhere Only We Know, song by Keen, you will say, I walked across an empty land. I knew the pathway like the path of my hand. And then you do that with the whole song. That can take you like five minutes a day when you're away. And it, it makes a great difference when you come back and you can come back to singing, you are going to be able to sing much better just because you got the lyrics out of the way and now you can 
focus on, on what matters the most, which is, of course, being able to physically resolve the song and, of course, uh, interpreting the song properly. And finally, the other thing that you can do while you are uh, unable to physically sing is to practice visualization. And this is something that a lot of athletes do from a lot of disciplines, and um, singing is no exception. It's actually proven that when you visualize yourself, your muscles are actually having that stimulation, almost as if you were doing it yourself but you are not. So it's not exactly the same, but you still have a lot of benefit. A lot of people from other disciplines, and such as sports, that's what they do when they are injured and they have great results. So basically for visualization, you sit comfortably, you close your eyes and you focus on visualizing your performance and you focus on visualizing, especially how are you feeling with the performance, what emotions come up and, and you visualize yourself doing the performance as you want to do it. So if you are struggling with with a high notes, for example, you visualize yourself doing that properly and you, you start actually feeling it. So there you go. Those are my tips to practice your singing while you are away. And I hope you enjoy it. And um, yes, I'm going to keep on enjoying my holidays now. So I'll see you soon. Bye.